Good morning. Welcome to Our Time Is Now. I'm Tiana Gibbons. I'm Omari Curry Johnson. Five Memphis police officers have been charged, fired and charged with second degree murder in Memphis. During the night of January 7th, Tyree Nichols was pulled over for reckless driving. They caught him, beat him, and he later died at the hospital from his injuries. The officers have conflicting stories about what happened and did not have their body cams on for the entire time. After Nichols was beaten, he did not get immediate medical support. One of the officers took pictures of Nichols after the beating and sent them to at least five people according to court documents. It's been two weeks since a Norfolk Southern freight train derailed in a small Ohio town and concerns about the dangerous toxins in the air are lingering. A Norfolk Southern train carrying hazardous materials derailed near the Ohio, Pennsylvania, sparking f fires that burned for days. Residents were forced to evacuate as cancer-causing chemicals were released into the air and streams. Even though evacuation order was lifted last week, some residents refused to return amid fears and, w fears and water air. Soil and surfaces in the village of 5,000 are still not safe. A reporter was arrest arrested for doing his job. News Nation's Evan Lambert was arrested during a live report covering the train derailment. It happened during the governor's news conference. His arrest was captured on video. Lambert spoke out after his release. He says the job falls under the his job falls under the First Amendment and freedom of the press. About uh, protecting the First Amendment and uh, democracy and, and trying to help people get information. You know, we were talking about this major accident that you know impacted hundreds, thousands of people in this town. Uh, and that's just what we were trying to do at the time and what I, I continue to try to do. Lambert was charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. Just yesterday, those charges were dropped. It's happening one state at a time. Another state is pushing legislation that prevents classroom discussion of sexual orientation or gender identity. Missouri lawmakers want to prohibit LGBTQ education as well as threatening transgender medical, medical rights. Educators there would be banned from talking about the LGBTQ community under a proposal more restrictive that Florida don't say gay law. There also, there's also a threat to criminalize raising transgender use. Here in Kentucky, there are nine LGBTQ related bills being proposed. On February 10th, LexArt dedicated the Crown Act mural inside Julieta Market. The Crown Act is a law that prohibits race-based hair discrimination. Respect the Crown is the work of artist Linda Turley. It's hanging by the back door at the Juliana Market on Loudoun. The mural was created to celebrate natural hair and raise awareness and respect. The Crown Act bill was introduced in 2019 by a former state representative after her daughter faced hair-based discrimination. The Crown Act is law in 20 states, including Virginia, Tennessee, and Illinois. That's our show. I'm Omari. And I'm Tiana. Remember, our time is now.